Did you know that you could go through probate while you're alive? I'm Michael Redden, and uh, if you have any questions about this topic or if you want to plan with me, go to reddenlawoffice.com and schedule a planning session or leave a comment below. A lot of people are familiar with the probate process in general. They know that it's something that you go through sometimes when you die and uh, you need to have your will interpreted and you need to pass your stuff on. What a lot of people don't know is that you can go through probate while you're, probate while you're alive too. The probate court handles more than just death. It also handles things like people who can't take care of themselves. Maybe you've started to get dementia and need someone to take care of you. But anytime you're not in a position to make decisions for yourself and you're an adult, you could end up going to probate court. We plan for this a lot of times by doing things like a health care directive, a power of attorney, and maybe putting a lot of our assets into a living trust. Because when this happens and they ask the court to declare you incompetent, to name a guardian, to name a conservator, someone to take care of you, when this happens, basically they're going to inventory all of your financial assets that are under your control so someone else can manage them for you. If we put these into a trust, then there's nothing left really for you to own most of the time except for maybe your social security income. And that's something that isn't that big of a deal as far as administration goes and court files go. And, uh, you know, people can get by with that. Privacy is a big deal when it comes to living probate because any major decision about you has to go into the public record and there's going to be a judge that's going to hear about it. Sure, you'll get an attorney, but you lose that kind of privacy. The big reason that people like to plan for this situation and to avoid it is because of the privacy piece. Because if you have a business, if you have a lot of land and family things, that stuff's going to go into that court file for anyone to see. And they're going to know you're vulnerable and they're going to know um, how much assets there might be there. It's the same thing like if you go through probate when you passed away. You may not want the entire world to know that your heirs are about to get hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions of dollars because they could become a target. Well, living probate, unfortunately, isn't something that you can completely guarantee to avoid. Probate outside of uh, a living situation when you've passed away, most of the time we can avoid that and it's pretty easy. We just don't let anything pass um, through a will. We put it through a trust or through beneficiaries. Sure, if someone wants to contest something like that, we might be able to get back in the probate court, but for the most part, we can avoid it. There's no guarantee you're going to avoid living probate because even if we set everything up so someone else can make your health care decisions through that health care directive, if we set it up so that you don't have anything in your name, it's all in a trust, if your mind is gone, you may not cooperate. We may need to get you care and things that you need, but you may not want to do so. You may fight that. Me? I'm probably going to be that guy. They're going to want to take me to a care facility and I'm going to resist and I'm going to fight it. And so they would have to go to court, declare me incompetent so that they could force me to do that kind of thing, even though it's in my best interest. So keep that stuff in mind. Yet another reason to get your estate plan in order is to do some kind of planning to either avoid living probate or make living probate not as um, scary of a thing. At least control what you can control, and then you only have to declare your uh, loved one incompetent if they don't cooperate, if you really need to. And again, if you have any questions, leave comments down below, or if you'd like to plan with me, go to reddenlawoffice.com and schedule a planning session.